Hello guys, I'm Dara from the Khmer lesson and welcome to learn Cambodian with my channel. Uh, today I have a new lesson for you and in this lesson I will teach you the uh, like five different words of the word I and me in Cambodian. But uh, usually you always know like uh, the word I and me, you always say Khnyom, right? Khnyom. But actually it's not like that. Uh, for the word I and me, we have more words that you can use and depends on the person you you talk to but uh, so in this lesson i just tell you like only five uh, different words that you can use with with i and me and uh, more than this uh, if you would like to know more about using the word i and me because not only five uh, actually there are for like 15 words but that you can use with i and me but in this lesson uh, i just tell you only five and if you would like to know more about this, okay, you can go to the link in the description. Okay, you can click and then you can see. But uh, if you would like to know more, you have to enroll the course on, on my website. Nah? But, okay, so uh, right now, if you are ready, let's begin. But I and me. But I and me. Uh, right now, uh, let's start from number one that you know already uh, that we use in general. Ba, uh, and you say knyom, right? Knyom, ba, I and me, knyom. And now let's see example. For example, you would like to say, I speak my well. Ba, I speak my well. Knyom ni yei khmai la o. Okay, ba, knyom ni yei khmai la o. Ba. So Nye is the word to speak. Khmer is Khmer. Lao is the word well and good. Ba, well and good. And Khnyom is I. Ba. So as usual, you say Khnyom ni ye Khmer lao. And example number two, you just say please tell me now. Ba. Please tell me now. Som prap Khnyom ai lao ni. Som prap Khnyom I love ba. And so is please. Prap is to tell. Ba. Uh, let me tell you a bit bit about to tell. A lot of students they get confused with this word. They always sing a uh, thing like the word to tell is ni yay. So don't be confused. Uh, to tell not ni yay. But actually in spoken Khmer people always join or combine with the word uh, to speak together. That uh, we always say ni yay prap right ni yay prap ba so when uh, khmer people say ni yay prap the meaning is tell ba because they can use the word to speak and then tell together in this case ba speak and and tell so for student don't, don't be confused uh, ni yay is to speak to talk to say and prap is the word to tell ne? ba to tell so i can say when you use the word to tell you can say both you can say prap, okay, it's meaning. And another one, you can say ni yay prap. Ba, ani, ni yay prap. You cannot say ni yay only for, for to tell. Nah? Ba. Okay, and knyom is me. I lau ni is now. That sometimes you hear people say I lau only, no ni. So the same for now, you can say I lau or I lau ni. Ba, both are correct. Ta. So now let's say this sentence again. Som prap knyom ai lau ni. Ba. Ba. So this is how to use the word I and me in general that you always say knyom. Eh? Knyom. Ba. Ta. Now go to see the next meaning of the word I and me. When husband talks to wife. Ba. Ani. Well, okay. One. When husband talk to wife. Uh, another one. When older brother or older sister talk to younger brother or a younger sister nah? but so with these cases the word i or me we say bong nah? bong but uh, that most students they know already when you call someone older than you a bit older than you or at the same age and you would like to respect you always use this word to call them bong as well right but so not only for the word you but also you can use this word with i and me but so now let's see example. But example number one, when you uh, 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 would like to say I'm sleepy, 
Ba, em sleepy. Bón ngờ ngồi kiện. Bón ngờ ngồi kiện. Ba, so bón is the word I. And ngờ ngồi kiện is sleepy. Ba, sleepy. That you know the word sleep already. That in Khmer you say kiện, right? Kiện. And sleepy. Uh, you in Khmer you say ngờ ngồi before. Ngờ ngồi. Nah? And then you say ngờ ngồi kiện. Ngờ ngồi kiện. Ba. And it, it's a bit hard for you to pronounce because like sound and G is hard uh, and you have to use your, your throat to pronounce this word, okay? That you hear my voice, I say ngờ ngùi, eh? ngờ ngùi, ba. So uh, for the word sleepy, you have to, to pronounce like that. Ngờ ngùi kinh, ngờ ngùi kinh, ba. Now let's see example number two. Uh, uh, the sentence is, please wake me up tomorrow, ba. Please wake me up tomorrow. Ba. In Khmer you say, Som da bong ngay sai. Som da bong ngay sai. Ba. So som is please. Da. Ba. Da. Da it means uh, to wake someone up. Ba. Or oh, to wake someone up. Ba. Because uh, when you would like to say wake up only. And then you wake up by yourself. That for example you say, uh, I wake up uh, at 7 o'clock uh, in the morning. But so in that case, you don't use da. But in that case, you say pnya. Pnya. And in this sentence, when you wake someone up, but wake someone up, in Khmer, you say da. Da. Ba. Okay. And bong is me. Ba. Bong is me. And thangai's egg is tomorrow. Ba. Thangai's egg is tomorrow. Or in spoken, you just say say, say, but for tomorrow, you can use either say, say, or say, but. Okay, again. Som da bong say, say. Som da bong say, say, So this is how to use uh, I and me that you say bong, but uh, that when uh, husband talk to wife, older uh, brother or sister talk to younger brother or sister eh? but now go to see the next meaning of the word i and me and in this case opposite in uh, in in point number three uh, i and me for wife talks to husband but wife talks to husband but that in my you say own own uh, this one also you can use with the word you when you call someone younger than you, right? But that you can call them own, eh? own. And also you can use with I and me as well when wife talks to husband. Eh? But now let's see example. Example number one. Okay, the sentence is I want to eat my food. I want to eat my food. On chong nyam mahok khmai. On chong nyam mahok khmai. Ba. Chong, you know, is one, two. Nyam is eat. Khmai food. Ba. That in Khmer you say mahok khmai. You say food and then khmai. Ba. And on is the word ai. Ba. Okay. Ta. So now let's read again. On chong nyam mahok khmai. Ba. Example number two, don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Ba. In Khmer you say, Kom ko ha on. Kom ko ha on. Ba. So this is a negative for comment. Ba. Then uh, everyone know already. When you make a negative like this, you don't use art and T as usual. Ba. So a negative like this, you start with don't. And you use exclamatory sentence at the end, and then in Khmer you say "com, com," and then you cannot, you don't use "te" at the end, eh? just say "com" only. Ba. So this sentence you say "com ko ha on," <coughs> but "com" is don't, "ko ha" is lie, but to lie in Khmer you say "ko ha," but "ko ha," and "on" is me. Ba. So "com ko ha on," ba. So this is how to use I and me for wife when she wants to talk to her husband. 
and next meaning of the word I and me when okay uh, people talk to the monks but talk to the monks and I need uh, I have a video uh, uh, about the word using with the monks already if you would like to know more about this okay you can go to see my uh, uh, video that uh, teach you how to use the word with with monks yeah? but, and in this lesson but when you talk to the monks uh, for I and me, you say Ka ru na Ka ru na See? Ka ru na But in spoken, you don't need to, to say uh, very clear like that You just say Ka na Ka na but, So my people, when we go to the pagoda and talk to the monks We always say Ka na Ka na yeah? Very easy to, to pronounce And now let's see example But uh you okay you speak with the monk and you say i will arrive the pagoda at seven o'clock but i will arrive the pagoda at seven o'clock uh kana nung dal vod maung prampi kana nung dal vod maung prampi ba kana is i nung is will but then is will you know we use future will dal is arrive what is pagoda ba pagoda maung prampi is seven o'clock ba maung prampi is seven o'clock so this sentence again you say kana nung dal what maung prampi ba and example number two uh, please come to my house tomorrow Ba, please come to my house tomorrow. Ba, you want to invite the monk to your house to do something. Ba, this sentence you say, So mok teh kana thngai sai. So mok teh kana thngai sai. Ba, so mok is come. Teh is house. And my house you say, Teh kana. Ba, that in general you say, Teh khnyom, right? But in this case, you talk to the monk, you say, Ptekana, Ptekana, when today's egg is the word tomorrow, uh, tomorrow. So now again, So mok Ptekana, today's egg. So here is the word I and me when you talk to the monk, uh, easy. And the last one, okay, uh, if you have a, a chance to talk to the king uh, or queen, or any relate any person in the royal family okay you should know the word i and me as well but uh, that in khmer you say tul bong kum nah? tul bong kum but a bit long with this word but so when you talk to king queen and family use this one and now let's see example uh, the sentence is i'm so happy but so you have a chance to meet the king or queen and then you say i'm so happy so in why you say tool bong kum sabai chat nah tool bong kum sabai chat nah but so sabai chat is happy and nah is so or very but very happy so happy that in why you say sabai chat nah but so again tool bong kum sabai chat nah and example number two, but you say, please call me Dara. But please call me Dara. Som hau tul bong kum Dara. Som hau tul bong kum Dara. But so how is the word to call? But so when you say how for the word to call it means like call someone but right? just call someone not about not on the phone and eh? don't be confused when you call uh, someone like uh, please call me john please call me nara uh, this food this food call okay something something but in this case you say how eh? how and another one if you use the word to call on phone like uh, i will call you later i will call you later and it about on phone right so in that case you can use the word call in english or you can use the word phone okay that in my you say to the sub but and it, but in in that case for the word call but call someone okay or call me as like dara but in my you say how, eh? how 
and me is to bằng cốm as an nhỏ object và and that is okay, my name I use my name easy và please call me Dara so how to bằng cốm Dara ah ba okay so this is the word that you can use for I and me when you talk to the king queen or any person in in the royal family ba Okay, that's all for this lesson. I hope like uh, this lesson is useful for you. Uh, even if it has only five different words, okay, but I think it's still uh, like helpful for everyone to know more about the meaning of I and me uh, in Cambodian. But, and okay, don't forget, if you would like to know more about this, just go to the link in the description to enroll this course. Eh? But, Okay, uh, thanks so much for watching and if you have any question or still not clear with some points or have any question would like to ask me, just let me know in the, this uh, uh, comment section and I will try to answer your question. But, okay, so again, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.